Welcome back to the glorious indoor studios of Homestead Aquarius. That's me. And I want to make this video to uh, address the Shed Wars community. And um, as we're also known as the uh, gardening, homesteading skills community. Got a few things here on my table here. And uh, looks a little confusing here, right? These are things that you might need as you go along in life for different reasons. Um, it's all about survival. And forever in mankind's history, we've been making things and growing things in order to survive. Well, what's all this got to do? Let me flesh out what we're doing here. Uh, these little things are simple props to help me to stay on focus and uh, get through this video <laughs> and to make a point. You know, gardening is a wonderful thing and that's our primary focus in the Shed Wars community, but it's also about all the other things. Um, things that you might need. Things have been, you might need to have on hand, like some kind of hardware, right, in case things go wrong. You might want to have some cordage, right? In case you need to tie something down. Or have some cordage that you attach to a magnet to retrieve your car keys in case they uh, drop into a storm drain, which is what happened to me one time. And I'm lucky I had these things. But what about the main focus? Because that's so much of where we are with people, right? What about the focus on food and gardening? Without food, we go nowhere. An army marches on its stomach as well as its feet. And uh, our shed warriors are no different. We're teaching people how to grow their own food so that they can have everything that they need, right? Everything that they need to be more self-sufficient. But it's not just food. That's the point of all of these things. Uh, there are defensive tools that you may need. There are um, tools of technology like magnets and screws and, you know, knives. We've been making knives for as long as we figured out how to make them out of stone. Um, other things have come along in more recent, recent eons, right? Thousands of years. This is the heart of Shed Wars and our community. It's all about these things that I'm rambling on about, right? Now, some of you are hearing this for the first time. Um, when I'm mentioning Shed Wars, right? We all heard it, most everybody heard it at the beginning of our season when we announced that we were going to go away from that name. It was always an experiment, as it has been in the five years that we have been doing this. Always an experiment uh, to make things better for our community to help you get the message out there for whatever it is you're wanting to do. Is it growing food? Is it saving that food, right, for later? The canning, um, I watched the canning video today that just thrilled me to watch and that was um, uh, Janet Homestead Where You Are and her um, pineapple canning video. That was amazing. Now. There are some things in our life that are needs and some things that are wants. Certainly we need um, beans. Do I need a pineapple uh, corer slash spiral slicer? No, I don't need it, okay, because I've got a knife there. But it sure is starting to be a big want. She showed everybody all the steps necessary to take uh, your pineapple that you bought at the store, maybe if you're lucky enough, like uh, South Florida Sunshine, to have grown your own pineapple, 
right? Anyhow, she took you through the process of canning it um, and, and putting it in your, uh, away in your own healthy, as natural as you can get way. And I, I love that. Love pineapple. Let me get to the point because I love to shout people out. I love to talk about things and ramble. Uh, the purpose of this video is to announce the end of the experiment of us going away to a new name, which was gardening. Let me see here. All right, hold on. Gardening homesteading skills, right? That, that was something that we were trying out, but we had issues. We had concerns. I had uh, several concerns in doing this, right, in going to this name. One of them was that it was so generic, okay, that helped and it hurt, okay. It helped because it hit on some major um, search engine uh, words, but it was so generic that other channels were using it um, occasionally. It wasn't unique enough to our community um, and bigger channels who were already using these individual hashtags. Well, it, it's finding those in the search results, right? Uh, that, was, that was a couple of the concerns. Um, and so we, we needed to go back to, we always knew that we could, we needed to go back to our original Shed Wars. Hashtag Shed Wars. That name, and we all love to say it, we're part of the Shed Wars community. That rolls off the tongue a lot better than the hashtag gardening homesteading skills community. I can tell you that right now after having said it a bunch of times. So a few weeks ago, we began telling people that we're going back to the Shed Wars name and our five-year history of putting out so much content on YouTube. And, and that's where we are. Um, this video is to let everybody out there know. Now, while I'm in here, let me, I know that the hashtags, people go crazy about those and their pain. I'm going to explain everything about the hashtags. Um, and you can use this video, okay, as a guide to how to do your hashtags. Because I'm going to have it set up just the way I would like for you to do that, right? Um, okay, so it's all about the names, right? <laughs> Whew. I can put that back in there. This is hard to do through a view screen. Now, let me put my... There, head back in there. Okay. Um, we are going away from gardening heads, homesteading skills, right? That's what we went to for a trial. We're going back to this. So, what are you going to use, right? What is our name going to be now for our community, right? It's Shed Wars. Global Gardening and Homesteading. This is going to be our primary community identifier. Shed Wars Global Gardening Homesteading. There's no and in there. It's all one word. And you will find that hashtag at the beginning of my video in the first three of this, um, of this video. And you can copy and paste. I know it's a long one. But thankfully, to copy paste and autofill, it's really not a problem. Shed Wars Global Gardening Homesteading. That is, um, you know, what we're using as our primary hashtag to push out our videos. I'm getting a, <laughs> I'm getting a warning, so this is no longer a short video. Hang on. Okay. Uh, the glorious indoor studio is a little dark, so I added a flash here to my phone. My phone only allows me somehow, for some reason, to only make a 10-minute clip. So I'll have to make this two parts. and won't keep going. Got a lot I want to cover, but I can't do it all on one 
video. There will be another video or two later that that handles the, most of the rambling I want to do. Um, anyhow, what are the hashtags in question, right? What are we going to do? This is really, it, like as I've said, it's all been an experiment. And everything that we've done, you know, you do it and you have problems and you make it better. And then you make it better again, right? Um, and I just saw Rim's family um, ask on Facebook what the new hashtag's going to be. Thank you, Remy. And I, I want to tell you, God, I want to, I want to shout everybody out. And I've got, I've got this list over here on this piece of paper that I want to shout out so many people. But I know it's going to go long. I'll save that for another video, right? Um, <laughs> dang it. Okay, let me get, let me get to this. Okay, so you see these hashtags, okay? This is very simple, okay? Don't make it hard, right? It's real simple. Listen to what I'm saying. Use this video as your guide, all right? Keep, keep up the good job. Keep up the good work. And use this video as your guide going forward. It's very simple. Okay, YouTube has three hashtags that are the most important. They appear first on your video, um, and they promote those, okay? They promote those uh, the, the most, I guess. They push those out. Shed Wars Global Gardening Homesteading, just like that, is we the one that we want everyone to use. We require that, okay? We, we're, we're, we're asking people nicely, you know, if you're part of our community, use that in your first three hashtags. Save the other two for your most important. Are you making a video about growing green beans, right? That needs to be in there. And then maybe uh, a um, uh, summer vegetable, hashtag summer vegetable um, uh, hashtag, okay? So this in your first three. And after that, okay, YouTube gives you what I'm hearing is about 15 hashtags. I'm not the expert on YouTube and hashtags, all right? I'm not. But they give us 15 hashtags that they promote out there somehow. Um, and I guess if you go over that, you're just a bad boy or girl. Um, in the rest of your hashtags, we want you to use... Shed Wars, hashtag Shed Wars. That will be in in the the, the body in the in the, the the latter fifteen. Okay, we want you to continue to use uh, hashtag Gardening Homesteading Skills, hashtag, but only for a transitional time as we merge back our uh, Shed Wars name to this all right and to keep everybody to be able to find us and what we do uh this one's first the shed wars hashtag is um after that all right now you see these let me switch hands here this is these are the hashtags that we use um as team identifiers some people have really wanted that, and we've had it in the past. It was a good thing. Um, and so we're going to bring that back. But you notice these are not separated, right? You see hashtag Shed Wars 23A, which stands for Aquarius. You see Shed Wars uh, 23W, which stands for Will It Grow. And you see hashtag Shed Wars 23M, which stands for Misfits. These are not separated because we are one family. Uh, the competition is fun, always lighthearted. Everything that we do is for fun and to grow together as a community and to strengthen community uh, bonds. So these are not separated. We are three teams, but we are one community. So what does that mean? In your videos going forward, four simple hashtags, right? That will drop away to only three uh, in the near future. But until then, 
you know, we're going to say the four. Uh, so this is the order in which they are of importance. This one in your first three, all right, let it be the third one. That's fine. And then your Shed Wars hashtag and one of these team and year identifiers. It just helps people. We can't please everyone. God knows we have tried. All right. He knows. He's, he's like shaking his head up there. It's like, I see, I see the effort y'all putting in and, and it's tiring him out, right? We try to make everybody happy, but we can't. And y'all know that y'all realize that. Um, and so this one is the last one for the transitional period as we're moving back to our old name. So welcome back to shed wars, even though this is right now, like I said, some people have known about this. I knew that I had to put out an official video to get us all on the same page. So with that, I'm going to let you go. This is all the information that you really need. Keep up with the good work. I will have uh, more videos to come and uh, let you know what all's happening. So y'all be good and uh, press on.